It's a scandal to me that we have trained so many of the Chinese Communist Party's brightest minds to go back to China to compete for our jobs, to take our business, and ultimately to steal our property and design weapons and other devices that can be used against the American people. not getting enough attention, though, because the Chinese Communist Party is using the pandemic as cover for its crimes against Hong Kong. Under the cover of night, the Communist Party puppets in Hong Kong have enacted a security law that threatens to sweep aside the traditions and freedoms that have made that city such a special place. While the Chinese Communist Party hasn't yet rolled in the tanks as it did in Tiananmen Square, the effects of this law are no less chilling to democracy. The Chinese Communist Party lied from the very beginning of this outbreak, and it's lying still. And it is responsible for the scale of this virus outbreak around the world. This outbreak didn't happen in spite of the Chinese Communist Party's efforts to contain it. It happened because of the communist system of government. We can no longer be in a situation where we are dependent upon China in a pandemic for a lot of our drugs or masks or other protective equipment. And you can look across other sectors as well. We can't be dependent upon China for the next generation of telecommunications equipment or for advanced computer technology like artificial intelligence, quantum computing or semiconductors. So yes, we do need to break our dependence on Chinese manufacturing. It is the official United States policy enshrined in federal law that we will not tolerate an armed reunification of Taiwan with the Chinese Communist mainland.